Hi and welcome to Virtual Vagi. My name is Carlos and you can find me at virtual vagiblogspotcom Here we have a video on the VCAP DCA exam blueprint and we're going to cover section 4, which is ma manage business continuity and protect data. Objective 4.1 implement and maintain complex VMware HA solutions. Uh, as you can be aware, this HA subject could be a, a lengthy one. Um, we're only going to go through what's required for this exam blueprint, for example, identify the three admission control policies for HA and identify heartbeat options and dependencies. Um, like I mentioned earlier, we're just going to go over what's required for this exam as it is uh, quite a lengthy subject. Uh, skills and abilities is calculate host failure requirements, uh, configure, customize isolation response settings, configure HA redundancy in a mixed environment, Conf configure HA related alarms and monitor an HA cluster, create a custom slot size configuration and understand interactions between DRS and HA, uh, create a HA solutions that, that ensures primary node distribution across sites and then analyze vSphere environments to determine appropriate HA admission control policy and also analyze performance matrix to calculate host failure requirements and then analyze virtual machine workload to determine optimum slot size and also analyze the HA cluster capacity to determine optimal cluster size. Uh, the last few we're actually just going to reference some material that you can read. I'm going to have this document available for download as my previous videos as well and we'll just scroll down to the to the section here like I said we're just going to go over what is required f as far as this document is concerned so we're going to configure isolation response settings we're going to configure HA redundancy and we're going to have a look at alarms and also slot sizes and the rest of pretty much is going to have links and documents that we'll need to read to cover these areas uh, the first one will be identify three admission control policies for HA and if we look at the vSphere availability guide 4.0 on page 15 that, that actually details this area here which are the three types of admission control uh, and then we go through the actual policies here which is a host failure, host failure cluster tolerates. Uh, we can go to the, the, the guide here and I'll just go to the appropriate page. Like I said, most of these areas it, it does require a bit of reading and we can have a look at that section here and this is via the the guide and it has some good diagrams here which you can actually view and give explanation on slot sizes etc. So the next bit we're going to look at is the percentage of cluster resources reserved and that's on page 18 and you can see that the huddle there. Like I said, this document is quite vital to, to read and understand how all this works for the exam and it has some more examples here. And then the file of a host will be on page 20 here. I'll just go over to that and then we can specify a file of a host and then you can actually read on in the, the reasons why you can choose a the mission control policies and then um, how to avoid resource fragmentation. So I do suggest reading this and th there are some other articles which you can refer to. And now we need to go to the next section which identify heartbeat options and dependencies and I've just got some highlighted here and um, for example um, how long it takes to become isolated, um, the ports that are going to be required and then we just go over to the calculate host failure requirements and there's a few points here which pretty much taken from the website here, let me just bring this up just bear with me, okay you just go through here, it, I do recommend coming here and have a look through information here as well um, it's always good to have different views on, on areas so probably the, the highlight will be yellow bricks uh, I do suggest going to their site which I've got here and it has a thorough detailed explanation of HA and I do recommend having a look at this book if not buying it. Okay so we're moving over to customizing isolation response settings and this is just a blurb from the actual documentation and, the, and details required and here are the steps which I've used from 
the KB article from VMware and I'll bring that up here okay you can see the article here and we're going to follow these and set the various settings that we require and you can see it was actually updated on the 24th of Feb this year okay we're here at my test cluster which I've um, vcap-ha test and we just go to edit settings and then we go HA and then you just click advanced options and then we can actually put the option in here which is the failure detection time and then we'll put in the amount in milliseconds which will go to 20 in this case if we're following the yellow bricks and the I should say the high availability guide for 4.1 um, let's have a look here I want to go through these other steps which you actually reconfigure HA and so forth um, but that's how you set the setting in the in advanced panel and what we want to do, what I did find um, there was um, a little script here from from William um, we can use this um, to configure via the VMA which I've downloaded it set up and um, I've conf configured here, I've actually uploaded, set the two files which are required and this is a side note but I just thought it was quite interesting using it via Vima because I am a fan, a fan of the Vima box um, so there the details there, we'll just double check the environment now to make sure oh, okay look I'll delete those items that we set previously and double check that, that it has been removed pretty much there's nothing up my sleeves top of scenario okay so we've got that set and here we go um, I'll just run this oh, okay excuse me I've incorrectly set up the syntax here I'll just put inverted commas here and then I'll run it again and she's setting the, the advanced cluster setting there and it has been added and we can actually check in in the GUI if it has been added so okay that's completed I'll quickly check in here and it's all been set so it was just a side note for anyone who's interested um, and that's how you set advanced settings configure HA redundancy in a mixed environment okay pretty much this is a pretty hot topic as well and I did follow the best practice guides for 4.1 and there are some example diagrams here that like I said there are the only examples how you could set it up uh, using two NICs um, obviously our environments have more NICs than that but this is just an example on how you could do it um, we'll move over to the, the best practice white paper and, and you, I'll just, I do suggest downloading this and having a read of this because things do change as technologies upgrade and these are the requirements and it's also important to pay note that failback equals no. Okay, just bring up our lab and I've got the two hosts here and I'll just show you the configuration here. We've got the, um, the file back to no, we've got active on zero and standby on two for service console and for vMotion we've got the same thing no and two and zero, the opposite way around. So we just have a look in here and you can see the Nick team in here with the ordering okay so that's how we set the network settings according to best practice and once again if you have a look at the, this doc, document here it gives you pretty much the same diagram so I came up with configure HA related alarms and monitor on HA cluster if this is pretty straightforward it's but it's just good to know and I thought let's put a little snippet here okay, I've got the alarm already created I did create it you can create it at different levels so I created it just here and you just file new alarm or you can right click in the white space and say new so we've got the alarm here you select the alarm type which will be uh, in this case will be clusters and then you can set the various triggers and just click add and then the trigger will come up and then you just use this drop box and select the appropriate event and the status there in advance you can also read some documentation and the particular event settings for each particular event and I, str <laughs> I strongly suggest having these having an action set up at the bare minimum send an email okay so it's pretty straightforward just type in your email address and then you can select how many times you want this to happen once you know, or repeated etc so let's cancel that and that's setting up alarms 
Okay, create custom slot size configuration. Um, once again, I'm just going to go quickly through this on my environment, and we're actually just going to set up the the memory side of this, which is the slot memin MB. I just copy that. Um, I've only got one VM. I am limited by some of the resources I have here in my test lab. Um, fortunately, it's just enough to get me by, but I can only have one VM running. So what we're going to do now is um, just have a look at the information so we can see it's running and it has the slot size at the moment so what I'll do is um, I'll pause the video and I'll come back and I've changed some of the settings on this VM I would give this VM a reservation so if we have a look here I've given a reservation of 512 and then if we go to back and have a look at the slot size we can see it's jumped up dramatically so we can see that this one VM with a reservation has increased the slot size. So what you can do is you can go edit settings, HA advance, and then we just put in the the required option here, and I'll just put in 128. Like I said, it's only a lab, and it's just to show you how these things can be changed. So now we, we can see we've named, we've got a custom slot size, and everything is running on that slot size as opposed to the reserved one here. Or been impacted by that one with the reservation. Create an HA solution that ensures primary node distribution across sites. Okay, um, as we know with the primary and secondary nodes, uh, we need to be aware of um, where these sit. So I do have a link here which actually gives you a, a detailed summary of this and, and this is how a re election occurs. Um, and also if you want to view if you want it, want to view it manually you can actually just run this on the command line and you'll be able to see so I'll just bring up our environment I've connected to the host and I've got everything ready there um, and we just hit um, enter and we should be able to get the information that we require as we can see here I only got two hosts and we can see they're both our primary Analyze VC environment to determine appropriate HA admission control. Uh, these are some of the areas you should look at. Um, file level capacity, availability capacity, and how the hosts are configured in terms of CPU and memory. So we're going to analyze performance metrics to calculate host failure requirements. Once again, like I mentioned at the start of this, is pretty much just reading some information. I've got some links here which you can get more details and then the other two which are virtual machine workloads um, and the HA capacity I mean probably the first point would be looking at the statistics in uh, vCenter and looking at these links here and just going through these details especially the yellow bricks um, for HA I, I do suggest going there and that's a very good resource for information regarding HA and once again this book here is probably one of the best ones I've, I've read okay let's see now I'd like to thank everyone as well and these are the links I've used on this video thank you